North Dakota's fertile soil is good for more than growing corn and wheat. It helps preserve millions of dinosaur bones. Bella Kraft tells us about one man who taught himself how to hunt for fossils and what he's discovered in Harding County, South Dakota. Out here in Harding County, these hills are hiding something, fossils. John Carter is hunting for fragments of animals that were alive millions of years ago. It comes with experience, you know. I can usually spot a triceratops claw from 80 yards away. Carter has found <laughs> more bones than he can lift. I've found lots of triceratops skulls and a few T-Rex teeth and some T-Rex bones here and there. Um, I found the largest, most complete triceratops, Prorsus. What makes this dinosaur detective special is he has no formal paleontology education. I hung around with some of the best in the world for decades learning the trade. See the vertebra inside this? Instead of getting a four-year degree, then going on to grad school or getting a PhD, John followed experts around and trained his eyes to spot fossils. It's just sort of special. I've always made my living off the lands. You're working on something that no one else has ever seen before in their life, you know. There's no one else has ever seen it and you're digging up stuff and preserving it for history and for museums. All the really good stuff ends up in museums. He's been part of many dinosaur documentaries, including work on a National Geographic program. John worked as a stunt digger on many big name dinosaur digs, like Sue, the most extensive and preserved T-Rex fossil found. It could be bone, I'm not sure yet. In Harding County, yeah, there have been at least five T-Rex skeletons dug up. I haven't ever found one yet. I want to. I keep looking. But... John has no plans of stopping his passion for hunting for bones in these hills. In Harding County, I'm Bella Kraft reporting for your news leader. John is a carpenter by trade, and with the money he makes, he buys supplies to dig up more fossils. So on First News at 6, we'll tell you what famous dinosaur John worked on that has special ties to North Dakota. But Bella Kraft is here. Now, you were actually out there with him. You got a chance to dig around in the dirt, yes. and you found something. Tell yes, us what you found. I did. So he kind of just, I don't know, he kind of told us to look for stuff. Obviously, it looks like a rock mm -hmm. a little bit, but right here you can kind of see some pores from the bone where the bone marrow is. So this part is actually like a flank, I think they call or a frill, excuse me, a frill, a frill mm -hmm. um, of a triceratops. And he says that's what there is a lot in Harding County. There's a lot of triceratops and T-Rexes, which I do have a little bit of today. So my dad actually went down there with me and he stayed a couple extra days and he found a joint on kind of like the claw or hand area of a T-Rex. So this is kind of like... So you got that, you got that. Okay, now can anybody just go out and can you walk around and... I mean, yeah, you obviously should talk to a landowner first unless maybe you're on county land, but it's hard. You definitely have to have a trained eye. I had no idea what we were looking for. May I? Yes, of course. And I had no idea what really we were looking for, but John pointed out, you know, there's kind of these orangey areas and stuff like that. I wish where, you could get a close-up, yeah, you know. Yeah, can go you like can, this, yeah, hopefully. Yeah, it's, it's really, there you go. You can yeah. kind of, you can see, you can see where the bone was there. Yeah, and he was so. telling me he had known some landowners out there where there's even a full triceratops skull is exposed, but that landowner doesn't want anyone coming and digging on his land for some reason, so there's just bones basically sitting out there waiting yeah. to be dug up. And it gives us an idea of how many dinosaurs there were out there. Yeah, a lot, Pretty I think. Amazing, <laughs> yeah. All right, thanks a lot, Bella. Oh, thank That's you. fascinating.